What's going on everybody? It's your boy Jordan Stamina back at again from Flight for Hype. We got Prince over there actually trying to cop a pair of Yeezy slides, which by the way, congratulations on the W who he actually did. We got, got one it? ready, we got one, we got one, we got one. It's I, so I always scored slides, I always scored so slides. Lucky. He was able to get a pair in the new suit colorway in a size 10. Good for you, bro. Shouts out to you. So let me tell you about this morning today. This morning was absolutely like ridiculous. That Easter egg here. Thank you, bro, by the way, for letting us come in. This is the secret Halloween, guys. Basically what happened was, well, me and Prince, we went to the mall and, you know, we were like the first ones there. There was nobody in line at all. So as you guys can see, we're the first in line. We're the first in line. All 10 of them. This is crazy. We're the first in line. I think it's one, it's one per person though. Only one per person? Yeah, but it's okay. I'm two people, so I'm crapping two. Yeah, I count as like three, you know what I mean? Me and my belly, so it's all good. I'm not gonna like call anybody out, but this is exactly what happened. So what happened was, we went there, the person who was working there was like, oh, you gotta go in between this store and this store. And we're like, what? What are you talking about? I guess we can't even line up in front of the store. So we were literally going around the mall trying to figure out where to go, and it was like the most craziest thing, because guys, we didn't even see a line. This line was like, I swear, non-existent. Literally, I swear it was either outside or not. Guys, we see a bunch of people running. Me and Prince are literally running to the line. We're like, no way this is gonna happen right now. We see a bunch of people in the line. Like literally, bro, a bunch of people. We were the first ones there and we were the last ones to be in line. Like literally the last ones. So how did we go from all the way at the top? Okay, we went all the way at the top to all the way over here now. This girl decides to be like, oh, you know what? You gotta go somewhere else. And now all of a sudden- No one wasn't even there. Now there's a big ass line? You gotta be kidding me, man. No one wasn't even there. Stupid, man. We could have got our size, okay? I know Prince wanted to get it for resale. I wanted it for the personal. Boom. <laughs> we ended up getting grade school pairs of the biohacks. The biohacks. This is the shoe that I've been wanting for a while. And I got a, a grade school pair. Oh, man. This is frustrating, bro. I wasn't planning to try to resell these. I wanted these for the personal. And the worst part about it is there's some dude that freaking butt us and everything. Prince got pretty cheesed. I was like, oh, but we couldn't do anything about it. And I'm like, yeah, he's, yeah. he's gonna get the last pair. Prince, come here for a second. Come here for a second. Guys, so some guy butt in front of us. I called him off. I'm like, I'll six nine eight. I'll six nine. But anyway, <laughs> the guy ended up getting the last pair in the men's sizes, and then the girl goes, oh, all men's sizes are sold out. Yeah, he ended up getting the last pair that we could have had, bro. You we see that? Had it. So without further ado, guys, like this is the probably one of the worst drops ever. I really wanted a personal, but yeah. So boom, this right here are the biohacks. Jordan 1s. The thing is, is I want to have all three Japans. I have the Japan 1s, I got the Sambas, and now I want to get these. I want to have it basically in like a three pack collection. But as you guys can see, I, I only have a size four and a half. So yeah, I guess let's get into the review and stop crying about what happened today. So starting off the box, as you can see, this is a grid school pair. This is a size 4.5, and the color code is Bark Brown, Racer Pink, and Black. And the actual code is 575441201, and this retail for $150 Canadian. So, as you guys can see, let's start off with the tongue. You've got like this nice orange tongue, it's super vibrant, nice and bright. And of course on the patch and the stitching, you do have like this Tiffany blue, jagged stitching with the pink necky air and the swoosh and of course the patch is black next you've got this exposed foam which is really nice i feel like it's a lot more comfortable of a tongue too and of course on the back of the tongue you have this nice pink colorway and of course you also basically have the nike tag here as well moving on to the sock liner again you do have like this neon pink really really dope and as we take this out inside you have like that tiffany blue once again on the insole and you have the nike air and the pink as well moving on to the side of the shoe as you guys can see everyone love this part because it reminds you of the mochas or the travis ones it's crazy because it feels like new buck but at the same time like it's actually super hard it feels really nice quality too uh, the quality on pair is actually a one on this like i honestly thought a lot of this materials were going to be different but i guess i was wrong you have the brown accents on the back of the heel and up here also next moving on to the back of the heel you have that little tiffany blue again and then moving on you do have like this silver metallic swoosh 
almost metallic swoosh, but it's silver. Running along the, to the side. Moving to the side, you have this black new book once again, and you have this dark navy blue paneling here also. And moving on to the mud guard, you do have the navy blue color also, and this nice Tiffany blue over here. I believe again, this is new book too. I personally thought it was going to be leather. I'm not sure what it's like on the actual men's pairs, but on the grade school pairs, it is new book. Moving on to the midsole, you do have like this, basically this green. So as you guys can see, it looks more like, like a toxic waste type of color. I think it really breaks up the sole nicely. Just because there's a lot of colors in here doesn't mean that it doesn't go. I'm actually happy they didn't make it white. Like how else can you mess up the shoe? Moving on to the outsole, you do have just the standard black outsole and you have the Nike branding on the middle as well. This also comes with pink laces and then also your standard black laces that are already on the shoe. And of course on the sock liner, you do have this little black hit of new buck 2 and of course you can see the wings logo right here this is crazy because this actually feels really hard for some reason and it's nice and glossy too this is what they look by side by side and i can't do a on feet just because well it's a way too small for me check it out here's a little 360 i'll show you guys right now boom you can see this is a really nice shoe. Right now, it's literally 9 a.m. We woke up around 6 o'clock to get there. It's only 9 o'clock, guys, so I still have time to maybe hit another couple pairs on Foot Locker. I might be able to score a couple pairs on Foot Locker. It's still a little early, but I want to get this out to you as soon as possible. Let me know in the comments down below, is this a cop or is it a drop? Are you guys going to flip it or are you going to skip it? Because at first, I was like, eh, I didn't really like them, but now, now, I think these are a must cop in my opinion. This shoe is not for everybody, but it's dope. The resale value on these is going to go pretty decent. Right now, this size 4.5Y in Canadian is going for 298 It will dip down a little bit, but I believe that I could probably sell this pair for around 400 if I wanted to. Other than that, though, I don't think they're going to go too, too high after that. Also, let me know, did you guys cop the Yeezy Slides? Because, man, today was a mess. But other than that, we still got a pair at the end of the day, and I guess that's all that matters. Something I wanted to announce as well, I did team up with a master reseller. We are going to be giving away a pair of the Jordan 1 Travis Scott's in your size. So go ahead and go on my Instagram at jxsfilms and go and enter that giveaway. It's going to be on Saturday. Don't forget to enter that and follow the instructions carefully. Also too, follow everyone in the links down below. You can also go check out Prince Mark Anthony's new video, Copper Drop, and a vlog is coming soon. Without further ado, guys, let us know if you guys copped anything. This is Jordan from Flight for Hype. Peace.